Hey. Hey, what's up? What's up? No, it's Sunday. I don't want to do a review today. Because it's Sunday, that's why. Alright, fine. Forget it. Chilling here with my fire and my Crocs on. You want me to do a review? Alright, sometimes you do get what you want. Let's go. Alright, come on, come on. Y'all wanted to do this. Okay, y'all done took me out of my sweet spot by the fire. It's getting kind of smoky over there anyways. Can y'all see all that smoke? All right, check it out. We got the Vantru dash cam into pro in the house. It's a dual lens um, front and back dash cam, man, with a screen on it. I think it's got a 1.5 inch screen. Yes. So shout out to Vantru uh, for hooking your boy up with this thing because kind of needed that for the ride. So let's go in here. We're going to do this thing vlog style. All right, it's super dark in the garage, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out real quick into the driveway. We're gonna get this thing underway. I'm kind of excited about this because I've never had a dash cam before. Um, but the wife is always parked outside at the job, so I figured I'd get this thing for her car, and um, that way we can monitor her car. She has a nice car, and you know, sitting out in the parking lot all the time, you kind of want to know what's going on with your ride. If something ever happened to it, somebody bumped it or did something to it, kind of want to know what happened how it happened and when it happened okay so getting into the box i didn't bring an unboxing knife with me but i think we can figure this out Ugh. all right let's get this plastic out of here and let's just go ahead and make a mess in my car all right she's at work right now so i can't really install it in her car i'm a hardwired to her car uh so it'd be there permanently but um we're gonna just put it in mine temporarily all right, so we're greeted with some instructions. I'm gonna hang on to this because, oh, that's the camera right there. Okay, then we got some accessories. Get into these accessories real quick. This is actually the mount. Uh, you can mount this on the glass right here in front on your windshield, and it has some prongs right here. It means that it's, it's a powered supply too. So, oh yeah, you plug it in via USB right here. That looks like a mini USB, not micro. So let's keep this handy. Let's put this back on here. That way we don't uh, mess with the stickiness of that. It's not adhesive or stick or anything. It's just a um, suction cup, but I don't want to get any dust or anything on there. All right, more accessories. Let's see here. We have, looks like a, we're going to need this. This is the power right here. This is uh, the USB power supply. Like I said, this is micro, uh, this is mini USB. This is the plug-in right here okay so this is this also has the uh, mini usb attachment to it now if you see that right there this is probably an led but if you turn that right there you do have a usb supply right there so you can actually charge your phone while this is in your car man this thing it's not small it's not humongous but it's not small it actually um it feels good quality it's got like this soft touch to it uh it's got a soft touch coating and no here you go so where you mount it you can see the prongs right there these little pins um you slide that in there and that's how it mounts to your window so you got your front facing camera right here and you turn it around you got your rear facing camera and this will actually swivel so you can actually aim it at yourself if you want to or you can aim it toward the back seat or whatever you want but that's nice that it does swivel that way you don't have to adjust the whole camera you can have the camera facing one direction uh, from the front and then you can actually swivel it to see you or whatever you want to see on the rear facing camera all right got all kinds of functions right here so what i see is the power that looks like uh, reverse and a forward and this is probably a mode button right here this is a speaker and then you have uh the buttons are actually labeled right here that way as you're looking at it you don't have to turn your head and look up underneath it it's actually labeled right there so that's cool very intuitive okay then you got your power supply right there your usb input uh nothing else on this side right here um then you got a reset button what's going on in, in this little cap right here let's open this up you have an sd card slot and that is all and there's also a reset button right there too you got all types of sensors in here there's uh there's infrared and there's the g sensor and blah 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 all kinds of stuff man i see your microphone right here on the side it's a very very fully loaded fully functional camera so this wire this is long enough for you to run this clear up the side of your car on the driver's side or passenger side whatever outlet you're going to put it in and and just hide the wire and have it permanently uh stationed in your car so it's got plenty of wire here or this one is actually a little bit shorter so um i'm gonna use this one like i said i'm gonna hardwire it into the wife's car it says please insert sd card fantastic i don't have an sd card with me let me go get one i'll be right back so let's go ahead and power this bad boy up it should not tell me it needs a memory card anymore it is on oh that is so cool it's actually looking at me looking at you 
man, the screen is actually pretty decent. Um, it's not like a, it's not like a high def, high PPI uh, screen here, but it's plenty to see. It's got a picture in picture. So if you can see here, it actually has the main screen, then it has the PIP right there at the top left hand corner. That's pretty cool. So the instructions say once you actually plug it in, once it's powered on, it automatically starts recording. You can actually see the timer right there. Uh, it's been recording for two minutes. That's how long I've been jacking around with this thing. Um, let's see here. Let's just press some stuff together. All right, that's a microphone on and off at this point while it's recording. Not sure what I just did there. All right, now it's back on. Uh, let's go through the menu button. Hmm. Oh, wow. So while it's actually recording, you can cycle through. That looks like auto flash. There's a flash right there. It's on. That's no flash. Oh, I was also reading that once it stops detecting motion because it has a G sensor, once it stops detecting motion, I believe it's for five minutes, it actually goes into parking mode or you can manually just press and hold this right here. Oop, that's a camera button. All right, so you can actually take a picture. I just took a picture of my steering wheel and probably my face, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it goes into parking mode and um, if, the, if it actually detects that, you know, there's been movement or like a crash or something, it'll actually lock the SD card so you can't erase the data that's on here. That's really cool, you know, just in case somebody was trying to, you know, do something crazy to your car, they can't just destroy the evidence. I've got the main camera pointed at my steering wheel here. You can see my pinky or my finger moving around there. But the rear camera that faces inside the car, you see how it can swivel up and down to just catch whatever you want it to catch. So I'm just going ahead and straighten it out. That way it's aimed at me. So you see it's recording right now. Uh, let's go ahead and stop it by hitting OK. And it goes away, the little ticker. And now we can toggle through the menu option. You toggle right here with the, uh, with the buttons right here. They're on the bottom, but once again, they correspond with these labels on the front. So let's just go through and go through some of these settings. So let's hit OK. You got your resolution settings right there, your loop recording. Let's go ahead and toggle that and see. Okay, so we got a one minute to three minute to five minute and then off. Okay, so let's just do it for three minute loops. That was what was the default. Okay, we'll go into the G sensor. All right, medium, let's just keep it there since that's the default. Got your audio recording, your resolution. The resolution seemed to be okay, but let's just look. All right, so you got your 1080p plus 1080p. All right, so it looks like you can record on both cameras at 1080p at the same time, or you can record on one of the cameras at these different uh, frame rates and uh, pixel options. So, oh, I changed it. Let me go back. All right, let's do both cameras. So I like having both of them all. All right, and then we can go into audio recording, exposure. So let's go back to one of these other modes. Got your system set up here. Let's go ahead and hit OK. All right, let's format. I do need to format the card. The instructions say you are supposed to format the card. So let's just delete all the data and format this card while we're on camera. Formatting is successful. Okay. You can set your time and date right there. All kinds of stuff in here for your menu. Uh-oh. Uh, let's toggle through GPS setup. Let's go ahead and see what's in there. All right. Um, you know what? Let's toggle through it. Let's see it together. Our right, GPS is on. Speed unit, miles per hour. Let's do that. And we'll go back because that's all there is to that. You can look at your files there. I shouldn't have any. So you got those menu options there. Now this thing doesn't have a full charge. It does have a battery in it. Uh, that way if I pull the plug, it'll actually keep running off its own battery. I haven't charged it up. You're supposed to charge for about two or three hours before the first use, uh, but I have not done that. Um, but hey, I love this camera so far. So let's go ahead and do some test footage. Let me get it wired up in the car. Let's do some test footage from the front and rear camera and see how everything works out. Okay, so before I go ahead and mount this thing, I want you to actually see how it clips to the window, the windshield mount. All right, so you see those pins right there. You just slide it in like that. Line it up, slide it in, and then there's a little button back here that you press when you need to release it, and then you just pull it out. So when you have it locked in there, it's all good to go. The swivel right here is super tight, so it's not going to be bouncing around or anything like that. It is super tight. Uh, and it also has, uh, for the suction cup right here, there's a locking device, so you just turn it right there to lock it, and then you turn it this way to unlock it. And it just mounts on your window like such. Okay, for the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and mount it right here. 
there it goes i'm gonna hit the little lock button i'm gonna hit the little lock switch right here lock it in place damn that is secure okay so now i can pull the swivel back and it actually swivels left to right as well so you can pretty much angle this thing any way you want to so we're going to go ahead and connect the wire that came with the usb right into the car and it should power on yep there it is and now it's looking at me all right you clearly see that bad boy right there staring me in the face you can see can you see me in there now i forgot to tell you guys i actually plugged this thing in directly to the camera but the pins are there on the back of the camera and this mount because once you hardwire it to your car you can actually just keep it plugged in right here because that's a usb input right there and i'm plugging it in backwards so you just plug that in right there then you can run the wire up into your ceiling it just turned on and then when you need to dismount your camera you just push that little button right there and you pull it off but there's still power going to this thing right here that way you can just walk around with your camera or stash it where you need to stash it and then you can actually just put it back and then you have power again all right i see a little red dot and i think this thing is recording uh looks like the microphone is on so hopefully we're getting some good clean audio and we're getting some good video footage. The sun is still out, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna have to come back out and get some nighttime footage so we can see how that, that nighttime footage is gonna look. Um, hopefully this thing works out really well because like I said, I wanted this one for my wife's car. Man, the sun is killing me. I wanted this one for my wife's car, but if it works out well, then I'm gonna go ahead and get one for myself because um, usually when I do videos in my car, I usually, um, mount up my i have a what's called a fat gecko dual suction cup mount that i stick in my windshield and then um i put my a5100 on it with the screen up but if this works out well and this is always in your car why not just use this it'll be so convenient so hopefully this works out and then i can just use that save myself a lot of time and trouble um as far as audio i guess we'll figure that out when we uh, review this footage i'll tell you what one of the things i really love about this camera is that you get such a wide field of view when you have both of these cameras running i forget the numbers right now as far as the front versus the rear facing camera what's going on up here see y'all can see that right <laughs> people doing some craziness up here is it a wreck or what uh, looks like somebody just oh just traffic piled up anyways so you can see uh such a wide range of view so you can have like let's say there was an accident you got what happened in the front and you almost don't even have a blind spot as far as like the other camera because you can see all up in the inside of the car and outside the windows i mean that's that's great in case of an accident that way you can review footage on how things happen and what went on at that particular time and you're not really missing much at all except these tiny little blind spots that are right up here where your a pillars are all right as you can see it's nighttime. um Got my little co-pilot in here with me. Let me aim this camera down so you can see him. Can you see him right there? Say hi, Bogart. Look at him. He needs a bath. Anyways, let's finish up this video. Let's take a little ride, see how this nighttime footage works. So I'm going to go ahead and warn you right now. If you hear any strange noises, it's him. Man, he snorts and growls and does all kinds of grunting while he's awake. But from what I can tell from looking at the screen here, the picture is actually really clear. Um, good nighttime footage. You can see me inside the car pretty good. You can see outside the car extremely well. So if you're asking me, I say if you got the money, go ahead and pick up one of these Van True into dual dash cams uh, for your setup inside your vehicle, man. But I ain't claiming to be no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just doing reviews. Y'all go ahead and tap on that like button, tap the bell, and smash on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one. You want to say bye, Bogart? Tell them bye. Okay, he says goodbye. <laughs>